guys how you guys doing and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tino and today we're gonna be doing the Instagram baddie makeup tutorial this is not technically what I've seen on Instagram but it's quite similar like the trend going on Instagram is the lovely glowy highlight very very nice long liner you know contoured and highlighted to the depth so that's the trend. I think that's what they were going with the Instagram baddies. Very, very pretty, summery, friendly look. So if you guys do love this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. It lets me know that you're really, really enjoying my channel. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would love to see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. First off, I'm going to start by using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I'm going to apply it all over my face. It's going to give me a really nice luminous look. Next we're going to be filling out the brows. I'm using the ColourPop Brow Pencil in black and brown and I'm just going to fill my brows really, really, really lightly. Then I'm going into my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette in number 50. We're going to be using the concealer shade to clean up the brows on the bottom and on the top. And then I'm going with my MAC Pro Longwear Painterly Paint Pot. And we're going to apply that on the lid with a flat synthetic brush and then we're going to blend it out with our fingers. Next I'm going in my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I'm going into the shade called Georgia. We're going to put that all over the brow bone and on the lid as well. It's going to be a base for the rest of the shadows we're going to be applying next. Then I'm going into the shade Candied Peach. We're going to use that with a Morphe fluffy brush. We're going to apply that as a transition color. Next, we're going into my MAC Matte Blush in Fever. I know this is weird. I'm using that as actually a definer color. And we're going to apply that with a small detailed crease brush to give ourselves a little bit of depth to the crease. And then I'm going with ColourPop Shock Shadow in Birthday Boy. This is limited edition. This is just a taupe with sparkles. I'm applying that all over the lid. And then we're going to go back into that MAC blush and we're going to use it to smooth out the harshness of the lid color. And then we're going with Illamasqua's Precision Ink Liner. I'm going to give myself a really dramatic eyeliner look. If you really don't want to go dramatic with it, you don't have to do what I'm doing. And then we're going with Benefits Their Real Mascara. I'm applying it to my top lashes to prep for my false lashes application. And the lash I'm going to be applying today is House of Lashes in North Fairies. And I used my Duo Lash Glue to apply these lashes on. <music> And then I'm going with MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC50. We're going to take a flat synthetic brush and use that to conceal uh, imperfections on my face. And then I'm going with Bobbi Brown's Longwear Foundation in Warm Almond. And we're going to place that all over the face and use my Luxie Precision Buffing Brush and buff everything very seamlessly. And then I'm going with Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour Foundation Stick in Dark. We're going to be using that to contour the face as you can obviously see. And then we're going to use the highlight portion to highlight the face. And then I'm just blending out the contour. And then I'm going to go with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in Tan. We're going to apply that under the eyes alone. And then we're going to be taking the Beauty Blend to blend all the highlight together with a contour. I already set my face with the La Femme Banana Powder. I'm just going to be dusting off the excess one off the face. And then we're going to be going back with the MAC Fever Blush. And we're going to apply that to the lower lash line. At least all over, leaving the inner tear duct alone. Then I'm going back into my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. We're going into Luscious and we're going to apply that like at least two thirds of the low lash line towards the inner corners as well. 
And then we're just going to be applying liner. This is the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on eye pencil in zero. So we're gonna tight line and apply a little on the bottom lash line. And then we're gonna be applying the same mascara to the lower lash line. I really, really actually like this mascara a lot. And then I'm going with Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark. We're gonna be buffing that to kind of clean up the edges of the contour and mesh everything together. Now it's time to apply those that same blush on the cheeks. As you guys can see, I've used this blush in many ways. We're just gonna use that for a nice berry toned look. And then for highlighting, we're going to be using the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in Bronze Glow. And I'm applying that with a nice fan brush to give myself a nice, really glowy, you know, glow to death look. And then we're going to be spraying our face. This is a deep powdering method. I'm using the Max Mineralized Charge Water. And then for lips, I'm going with Urban Decay 24 7 Lip Pencil in Jilted. And we're going to line our lips really, really well. Finally, I'm going with Too Faced Melted Matte Liquify Liquid Lipstick in Bend and Snap. We're going to apply that all over the lips. And here's the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in another video. Bye.